And the issue today is very much that the Prime Minister made assurances to Canadians and to the House uh, that, as we found out yesterday, uh, were not exactly uh, the, the, uh, the truth. And therefore... Federal opposition leaders are slamming the Conservative government today over the latest developments in Canada's mission against ISIS. Monday, we learned our special forces engaged in a firefight with terrorists on the front lines following a training session with their Iraqi counterparts. Today, both Liberal leader Justin Trudeau and NDP leader Thomas Mulcair say the Prime Minister has not been transparent with the extent to which our troops would be in the line of fire in Iraq. Here's how Thomas Mulcair puts it today. Mr. Harper owes it to Canadians and especially to our brave women and men in uniform to be clear, honest and transparent. In answer to substantive questions on this in the House of Commons in September, he denied that we would be involved in any way, shape or form in a combat mission. That wasn't true. Canadians deserve better. All right, let's get back to our top story this hour. Fresh reaction to the developments in Canada's Operation Impact, fighting ISIS terrorists in Iraq. Our Hal Roberts is on the story for us today, and he joins me now live from our Parliamentary Bureau. And Hal, so viewers have now heard both Justin Trudeau and Thomas Mulcair. They both essentially are calling out the PM on what they both say is a lack of transparency about the mission. So how is the government responding to these accusations? That's a very good question, Beatrice. Essentially, what the Prime Minister's office is saying is, remember, we're there to advise, train, and to assist and that's basically it. In fact, here's a little bit more of a quote from uh, Jason McDonald from the Prime Minister's office. As you can see, he says, it's a combat role in which our troops are advanced and seek themselves to engage the enemy physically, aggressively and directly and that is not necessarily the case with this mission. He reiterated to me as well, he said, this is not a combat mission on the ground but in fact it would be a mission in the air. And this was the first time that our men and women in uniform faced uh, a firefight uh, with terrorists in this uh, mission, How, But we did hear the military at the very beginning said, if our forces are attacked, we will defend ourselves. And you've been speaking with some military experts. What are they telling you about this situation, How? Yeah, I had a chance to chat with uh, retired General Lou McKenzie. He spent 33 years in the Canadian Armed Forces in the Army. He served in Somalia and in Bosnia. And essentially what he was saying is the fact that this is a combat mission. Politicians know it's a combat mission. The soldiers know it's a combat mission. But it seems like the government does not. Now he says it is more of an air mission, uh, not so much a combat mission on the ground. And he says when it comes to an air mission, Basically, you have to designate targets for CF-18s and other coalition is part of that mission. And here's a little bit more of the quote of what he had to say. General McKenzie said that coalition air power is being wasted if ISIL targets are not being identified on the ground. You don't see much at five or 10,000 feet, so you really have to be guided to your targets. Now, what was really interesting as well, Beatrice, is the fact that the Canadian Armed Forces had a video release yesterday as part of their military briefing showing a ground level shot of two ISIL targets being blown up. So in other words, Canadian troops were actually on the ground showing that transpire. Both Canada, U.S. officials all saying there's a, it's going to take years to defeat ISIS. So if it wasn't a combat mission, who knows how it could just turn into one. Appreciate this. Well, yeah, it's really an ideology. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the, the biggest mission for our Canadian Armed Forces over there is getting the people of Iraq to understand that this is, these are terrorist groups. These are not people that are fighting for you. They have their own not-so-hidden agenda. Appreciate this, Hal. You bet. That's Welcome. our Hal Roberts reporting live from our Parliamentary Bureau.